my life before um, giving my life to Jesus was literally surrounded around anxiety and when my next drink was going to be. How am I going to get through the day without having a drink? 100% looking like you're okay on the outside when you're dying on the inside. That was me before, just functioning as best as I could while being a full-blown alcoholic and pro sinner. Yeah. This close to being fully in with Jesus, but not kicking the one thing out of the way. So it was the morning of November 1st, and I knew that was the day I was going to be open about my alcoholism and my secret sin. I remember Justin was rushed, you had a busy day, and it didn't feel right to tell him. And I'm suffering pretty big time at this point because I'm going through withdrawals. And I was just praying uh, before I went to work that day, Lord, who, on, who do I tell? I need to get this off my chest. Um, so I was praying and the Lord just put on my heart, you need somebody with time. And so I see one of my bosses come in who I wasn't planning on seeing that day. Sure. Um, and I said, hey, what brings you down our way today? He said, you know, I just have some extra time today. It may not have been my husband, but can I just tell you, there was no better person mm -hmm. to tell because of the relationship that he has with my husband. Mm -hmm. I know the Lord picked that person that day. And I, it was absolute, just couldn't have stayed any longer. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I have an alcohol problem and I need help. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing you know, he's guiding me right to the Lord. You need to say yes to Jesus. And yeah. I was so already ready in yeah. there. I just had to get that off my chest. Yeah. And I can't tell you the weight yeah. that I instantly felt mm -hmm. when I said it. Just instant, like, you're going to be okay. Yeah. You're going to be okay. So I didn't even pack my own bag to go to rehab. Um, didn't really know what to bring. And yeah. COVID's still a thing. Um, so you packed my bag yeah. for me. I was worried about you know, leaving my home and leaving uh, my husband and our dogs and just our family and what that life was going to look like. I don't know anybody at this facility. Um, it's it's ner you're nervous, um, but I did have that. I still had that sense of peace. Yeah. I did. The Lord just kept reminding me of you don't need anything else right now mm -hmm. except for me. You're going to be OK. I'm not a like be alone person. No. I'm very, uh, very much so like, we go with me, we go with me, we do this with me. I'm just not an alone person. So I really had time there and really got down, got on the floor. It was cold, nice cold floor and just got with the Lord mm -hmm. because that is all I had. Yeah. And then as soon as I was out of my withdrawal stage, first person I called was yeah. Justin. It was just nice to hear his voice and know that we were starting over. Yeah. That there's light at the end of this. And I knew that. Mm -hmm. Even though I had a long journey ahead, I knew oh. that there was light. Yeah. I hate it that it always is like in the tough times you're reaching out to God. But like in that moment, I'm like, all right, Lord, hey, it's been a while. Um, hey, it's Justin, just so you remember me, you know. Um, Lord, just, I need your help. I need your help through this because I, I can't do it on my own. And um, that next morning I woke up, Wednesday morning, and I had this overwhelming sensation that I needed to go to Wednesday Bible study. And I'm like, I'm texting the guy. I'm like, hey, like, is this thing still on? Like, I, I, this is verb. I don't know if you remember me, but hey, I'm just checking to see if this is on. No response. I'm like, all right, well, I'm just going to show up. So I show up. I walk around to the front door. I was shaken. I was like, oh my gosh, like, I, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I know I'm supposed to be here. And I open that door and I, and I run into a guy I haven't seen in forever. And he open arms, hugs me and is like, verb, is that you? Sit down. You know, I didn't want to make it about me, but it ended up, everybody wanted to hear my story. What happened? You've been gone for three years. What happened to you? And it was from that point forward that I realized after sharing my story that day and leaving that I never was the man that God called me to be in my marriage. The best thing for our family in the trials that we were dealing with was to be involved with church and be surrounded That's with the right. community of people that were there for us. 100%. 100%. And it was in those moments that 
that God began to re reveal to us, uh, to me particularly, mm -hmm. why I was walking through what I was walking through in this season. Uh, Justin had told me on the phone, like, hey, I'm making this decision for yep. our family. We're yep. going back to love. Yep. And I was so excited. So um, a little nervous, just, you know, hoping um, no one would think differently of us, but it was 100% the same as it always was and no one treated me yeah. or justin any differently the fruit that the yeah. lord has poured out and the favor over our life and our marriage mm -hmm. and with levi we have a son um who I, I wouldn't have gotten pregnant with i know if i hadn't given up alcohol mm -hmm. and my secret sin mm -hmm. what was once so uncomfortable for me because of my all that secret dark sin it is now the most comforting place yeah. for our family. It's home. It's home. I look at sin so much differently now. Like I take it so much more seriously because I know I know what it's like being on the other side. Like I have peace now that surpasses all understanding because I'm firmly planted by the river uh, and getting the, nu the nutrition from the Lord versus trying to do life on my own. By me saying I'm done, and I surrender it to you. I'm all in with you, Lord. Um, I want you and more of you. Our marriage has grown yeah. tremendously. And just my relationship with the Father, um, as it's still in process, it's just, it grows every day. Yeah. What I would wanna say, if you're feeling um, anything like where I was at, um, maybe close to it or really far from it, lean into what's uncomfortable mm -hmm. because God's working there. I can't say it any any better. Just say yes to whatever it is that he's calling you into because it's going to pay off and you're going to find fruit in it and you're going to be living your best life because that's what God wants for you. We are Justin and Angie Verbeck and this is our More to Life story.